Hi, my name is Adriana Hara, and I'm a developer advocate for Chrome OS. One of the advantages of Android is the diversity of form factors where it runs. This diversity gives developers great opportunities to reach a lot of users. Let's say you as a developer want to increase the reach of your app for large screens, gain new users, or maybe give your users multi-device journeys. Users can already install Android apps on Chromebooks using the Play Store, but you will want to add improvements for those users. These optimizations will help not only with desktop-like devices, but also tablets and foldables. You will want to implement things like keyboard shortcuts and make sure that your app is usable with a mouse or a stylus. You will want to make use of the real state that comes with a large screen, maybe optimizing a horizontal layout, since it is more common in large screens, and think about desktop-like navigation patterns. You may want to make sure that your app can run in a speed screen mode and change size smoothly. All great ideas, but this also means you will want to test them accordingly in the right form factor. And I'm here to show you how Chromebooks can be your ally to implement and test your Android apps, especially for large screens. First, you might need to do a little setup. Start by enabling Linux on Chrome OS. Find the Linux sections on the system settings and click Turn On. Follow the instructions on the screen. This will enable an app called Terminal, which is the way to interact with the Linux on Chrome OS environment. Starting in Chrome 84, you will find new options for personalization, themes, shortcuts, and more. Next step, Android Studio. Installation is as easy as one click after downloading it. Once installed, you'll get the same Android Studio that you know and love. It will be installed under a group called Linux Apps. You can find it on your launcher, and you can pin it to your drawer for easy access. Final setup step, enable ADB debugging for your Chromebook. This will allow you to deploy your Android app directly to the Android environment on Chrome OS. Go to the Linux settings, find the option Develop Android Apps, and turn on Enable ADB Debugging. Your computer will restart, and you'll see a confirmation dialog after the reboot. And from then on, you'll see a notice on your login screen that shows that it is allowed to load apps using ADB on the Chromebook. Another warning, if later you disable ADB Debugging, your Chromebook will reset to factory defaults. And you've made it. Your Chromebook is ready to run your Android app. Now the Chromebook will appear as an option on the Devices dropdown of Android Studio. Click Run, and your app will be installed directly on the device. You can test different sizes, configuration changes, input interactions, and more without cables, and at the same time, using the tools you are used to, to see logs and to debug. One note here, the first time you install an app, Android will ask to allow USB debugging. You can check the Always Allow option. There are a couple of alternatives for running an Android app in Chrome OS. If running Android Studio is not an option, you can still use ADB and the terminal to install an APK. Or there is also the option to push to the Chromebook from another device. This option requires developer mode and more setup steps. You can find step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up these workflows on chromeos.dev, a dedicated online resource for Chrome OS developers. You can find the link to chromeos.dev in the description of the video. Whether you are a developer optimizing your apps for large screens or a new developer building your first app, I am looking forward to seeing your creations on Chromebooks. Thank you.